Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how we can make a plotter with using Arduino and two EC drives. For this, uh, I'm going to use uh, CD-ROM laser tray drivers. I got these two from uh, junk CD-ROMs and I have attached two uh, acrylic sheets on top of the laser trays. Uh, this circuit has designed uh, imitating the design of the gravel shield, gravel mean GRBL shields, uh, that is a uh, well known type of Arduino shield that can use for open CNC projects. So let's see how we can uh, connect these EC drives and uh, Arduino board together. Uh, I will explain that uh, with the circuit. Okay, this is about the gravel shield. Actually, this is uh, based on 80 mega 328. So you can use uh, Arduino Uno or Arduino Mini with uh, 328 chip. I am going to use Arduino Mini with uh, 328 uh, chip. And uh, this has some kind of description. You can see it uh, provides three axes of a CNC control. Uh, and so on so you can find a lot of information if you search web and uh, most important thing is uh, it mentioned uh, $70 here so without using this I'm going to use two easy drives to represent X and Y axis you can see uh, three chips uh, on top of this uh, gravel shield for uh, control three axis so I need only two axes since I am going to make a plotter. I am going to use two easy drives. If you search about the e easy drives, it's very cheap. Uh, $1.47. Uh, I found these uh, one from China, and I am going to use this type of uh, two two drives. So, if you look at the circuitry, I am going to use. Uh, actually, it's a complete imitation Im, imitating uh, the gravel shield so I'm going to place two X and Y easy drives uh, for the digital IO pins or uh, first it's mean the X axis uh, I'm going to use uh, DIR uh, it's mean direction pin as 5 stepping pin as 2 actually this should be Y and this is Z uh, direction pin for y axis is 6 and step and step is pin 3 and I'm going not I'm not going to use uh, Z axis so I made it red so this is the circuit uh, in simple I have uh, uploaded this all information uh, to the Dropbox and I shared the link in the description you can find all the information let's see assembling all uh, these circuitry with the motors how it looks okay i have connect uh, these uh, two less trays uh, for these four connections of ec drives and this one also uh, this one is for x axis and this one is for y axis to hold these together uh, uh, in the 90 degree angle uh, I need to place this one in uh, this way so I made a small structure with uh, uh, acrylic sheets so I can attach X axis on top of this and Y axis on top of uh, this horizontal plate so now uh, the circuit is finished and let's see how we can program this one and uh, how gravel flash into the audio okay if you're done with circuitry then we uh, we can upload the gravel uh, hex file into the audio so uh, to upload that hex file i'm going to use xloader so you can download uh, xloader directly from this website uh, it's very small program uh, you can directly run 
uh, explorer exe and take extract this into somewhere we can find them Um, here is the explorer is very small program uh, you can uh, provide the uh, hex file location uh, to upload uh, to the 80 mega 328 uh, chip so uh, I have downloaded uh, this hex file from uh, github actually I download uh, this version uh, it's uh, released on uh, November 2012 so I'm going to upload that uh, to the Arduino uh, you should select uh, correct COM port and uh, the correct uh, board and then you can select upload the so upload has done uh, to check whether this has uploaded correctly and it's work fine or not uh, we can use uh, another open source software called uh, Universal G Code Sender. Uh, you can find that uh, source code on the GitHub also. So I'm going to directly download the build, not the source. So I have already downloaded it uh, down here. This is a actually you should open with this uh, jar file. Uh, it is a Java program and set uh, the COM port and the board rate uh, as 9600 uh, so if these two uh, correct with your board you can uh, open the connection to check whether your uh, program is completely uploaded correctly uh, into the Arduino ball you can uh, put double dollar marks uh, on here and then you uh, this console shows uh, values for each variable this uh, dollar mark zero is for how many steps for x axis for for a one millimeter how many uh, steps for z axis for one millimeter and so on so uh, this information you should adjust according to your motors and according to your uh, wheels to adjust these things you can simply put on this command you can say dollar mark zero equal hundred so it's before uh, you can see it's 50 now I'm going to say uh, you should go 100 steps for each one millimeter so once I add that one and if you check again uh, the setting set you can see uh, dollar mark zero has changed to 100 steps from 50 steps so it's better to have uh, equal steps for x and y axis it's depend on whatever the uh, motor or the wheel set you are using so in my case I'm going to use both same it's mean uh, zero for it's mean x and y axis in the same steps and uh, if you attach the laser trace uh, you can see it's moving pressing uh, x and y uh, these movements Okay, I have attached the setup into the computer and I will change the X and Y axis uh, values from the machine control mode. You can see this uh, X and Y axis, uh, axis will move according to. So I am going to first change the X axis. You can see the X axis trace moving up and down and then I'm going to change the y-axis you can see it's moving smoothly so let's see how we can upload some kind of design 
so i am going to uh, attach a small pen uh, for this to see how we can draw some lines uh, some circles or some kind of design okay now i am going to send a g code file to draw a circle uh, on my plotter i am going to start the connection again browse I name it uh, G code A. Uh, actually, it has this type of set of instruction. You can see its uh, X movement and Y movement have mentioned in the file. Very small uh, set of guidance. Uh, if I click in the visualize, it shows the circle that uh, we are going to draw. And uh, once it finish, you can ask send now you can see its process and uh, if you look at your plotter it start drawing with attached pen okay i'm going to send the file now you can see how it draws yes you can see it start drawing if you cannot see clear i will click it so yeah so you can see it drawing the circle continuously you can see it's very smooth movement there's no any edges on the line that's draw by the pen actually my uh, next plan is to replace this pen with a laser pointer to place an engraver i will upload that uh, once i finish that part so thank you for watching uh, please send me messages uh, comments likes i will reply whatever the things you need and uh, i can help uh, anything you need to do any clarification on this thing I have shared all the information in the description field. Thank you.